Joining me today, I have amateur golfer Anna Colas and professional freestyle footballer. Anna. <laughs> 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 My glasses are fogging up. <laughs> pressure, <laughs> pressure. <laughs> yeah, <this is> one. <laughs> professional freestyle footballer Augusta Manich. I probably didn't get it right. She'll correct no, it. It was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> perfect. So, um, thanks for joining me today, ladies. Really appreciate you coming down. So. Athletes, what has been like one of the biggest challenges for somebody like yourself? We'll start with you getting into sports. Oh, um, motivation. motivation. Motivation, yeah, the most important. You you need to do a lot of tries, like a lot of a lot of a lot of trainings, mm. a lot of hours every single day. You need to motivate yourself, and you need to know what what you want to achieve in it. This is the most important. Yeah. What about yourself? What do you yeah. find like has been one of the biggest challenges for you? Because I know when it, when it comes to to golf, um, yeah. you're competing against other people in a different format, to, like yourself, where it's yeah. it's more of a performance, whereas yours is you sink the putt or you don't. Yeah, like it's if, it's hard. I think and one of the most challenging things with golf is that you can have a bad day and a good day. It's just you don't know really. It's for quite inconsistent. Like when you see people on tour different people it's literally anyone's game right. i think it's just trying to have that because they say in golf you have more bad rounds than good rounds and mm. i think it's just trying to um not give up and keep going um just be patient as long as you're putting the hard work and stuff you'll the results will come when they're ready yeah excellent yeah. excellent how did you get started in freestyle did you start off playing football slash soccer or was it just something you just started off doing yeah that was funny in the beginning i was playing football and you know like normal small club and everything and two guys was playing next to my pitch when i had training and i was like wow what they are doing and when i finished my training i just ran to them was like what is this i would like to learn it and everything and they told us okay you don't have coach you don't have nothing i can show you what is freestyle and then you you need to learn by yourself and that's really? perfect yeah i met i met this by by case yeah yeah oh, cool that's awesome how long have you yeah. been playing golf i've been playing six years Yes. So not so terribly still, long then. No, so you're still, still relatively yeah. Lots young. of people I play against have been playing since they're about three, four, and stuff. So yeah. I'm kind of like still new to the experiences and stuff. How yeah. did you find golf then? Uh, I find it frustrating yeah. <laughs> to start with. There's like so many different things which can go wrong in golf. Like mm. a, s a small part of your golf swing, whether it's on the backswing or the downswing. Like if you if it's off, you won't hit the ball straight. Mm. And also like in rounds, you can have good rounds and bad rounds, and like good luck and bad luck. So sometimes you'll it's weird golfers if you're a golfer you'll understand that some rounds you'll you'll just go in loads of bunkers and then other rounds you'll just have like a bunker free round it's really weird yeah so yeah you can have some bad luck where like the ball bounces in a bunker or if it bounces off the green rolls down the hill into water hazard so yeah it's, it's tough how'd you get started playing because if you if you've only been playing six years i don't want to give your age away but if you've <laughs> only been playing six years you yeah. started in your in your teens yeah versus I, like I you started, said a lot of people have been playing since they're like five yeah six i started old. golf when i was 15 um i used to play badminton for england Mm. Traveled around the world, played in like Vancouver, Poland, Germany, loads of different places like that. Um, and then I realized that I just couldn't see this as my future. Um, so it was at 15, my fitness coach said to me, Why don't I try golf? So mm. then I tried golf, picked up from there, and got down to single figures in my first year playing. And oh, that's wow. when I was like, I want to take this seriously. And then I got down to scratch in five years, wow. and then I've just gone from there, really. So you're like, a, you're a natural golfer then? Um, I'm, I'd say I'm, I'm natural sport. I've always been into sport at school and stuff. I've loved all different sports. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I think uh, I think golf's 
Golf's good. That's your <laughs> that's your that's the good one for yeah. you. It's hard to sometimes find something that you're really good at and you're really fortunate, both of you, to find that yeah. at a relatively young age. Because I'm in my 40s and I'm like, I hate it when people know what they want to do in their life and they're like six, you know, so you can do it. I still feel that though because I haven't quite made it yet in golf. Mm. So there's still like a thing in my head thinking, you know, am I going to make it or am I making the right decision? So I'm still not quite, and if like I need a backup plan as well in case you never know if that's the thing with sport, Mm. I could um, break a leg, break an arm or have a car accident and then I'll be left and I can't play, if I can't play golf, I've got to try and think of what. What I want to do. What else you want to do. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Um, Aguska, and I actually was going to ask you both this, and you kind of already answered it, but naturally gifted at sports. Do you excel at other sports? Uh, yes, I was playing volleyball. Really? I, I, I played like professional two years, but they didn't show potential, my potential. And they um. felt really bad with this. Then I, I quit it. I went for football, and then I find freestyle. I always loved food, uh, like sports, all possible yeah. sports. How you say that from the beginning, always right. in the school, you was the best in what sport. I, I, <laughs> I can't, can't do, so. I can't sing or like <laughs> yeah, yeah, do yeah. anything else. Some yes. rubbish shit stuff. So we yeah, are, sport is we our are thing. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right on. How do you balance uh, athletics and the rest of your life? Say like um, work or partners. Um, Because I know you said you travel a lot by yourself. So how do you find the how do you balance all that out? I know it can be difficult if you're on the road a lot, um, being away from a partner, if you've got one, being away from your family. I know I was researching something that you were showing a video, I think it was, and you were talking about being away from your sister. And how do you how do you manage that? Uh, it's it's at the beginning was really difficult because three years ago I moved to London I, I didn't want to live in Poland at all and then when I came here it was really difficult because you don't have support from no one you don't know people mm. you are alone you are definitely feel alone and you have freestyle I came here just work as a normal person to get some money because I almost was without money when I came here mm. yeah because in Poland we didn't have support at all right. in, in sport and after this yes yeah, slowly i started to get got it like some jobs one by one and then it's like okay i will cl- quit a, a job in starbucks and i will start as a freestyle footballer from this time i am self-employed three years already and yeah it's quite difficult for me to do normal life and football and freestyle football because i wanted all the time practice but it's impossible for my body as well but yeah I, it's it's not about it's about how you manage your life mm. how you want it how you want it archive everything if you want to have good relationship you will take care of it you will do freestyle as well at this moment and you will work you cannot choose don't you which yes, ones you yes, want to prioritize yes, yes exactly and yeah. then when you know whatever you wanted from each of them you you will know yeah. how t- how to manage everything right i think we work perfectly. yeah yeah how about yourself because i know You're from here, so you obviously have a bit more of a support base. Whereas your family's here, you you know you you, I've seen your Instagram. You're smiling with your boyfriend type thing. So what is that? I just put all her information out there. I don't actually have a boyfriend. (laughs) Well, there's some guy that's on your on your on your pictures that you. Okay, we'll we'll scratch that. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She's single. (laughs) Hit her up on Instagram at. Just kidding, (laughs) fellas. (laughs) Um, Promotion. I know, right? (laughs) We're, we're going to get you both men by the end of the show. So. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, though, I didn't realize this is a, a dating show. Yeah, right. So already the Instagram is going to start pinging. So, uh, so, <laughs> so what do you do then to like really keep everything together, I guess? Is yeah, I think um, if you did one thing, if I did golf 24-7, I think it would be quite it would probably get to me after a while. Mm. So I coach badminton as well. So I use kind of like my experience and skills, which I've learned playing like for England. Um, so I did my coaching qualifications. Mm. I run my own badminton club now and mm. I coach at schools, groups, individuals and stuff. Um, so I really enjoy the badminton side and I still play occasionally for fun. Um, and obviously I like going to the gym. I love food. I literally, everyone who knows me well knows how much I love food. So I like going out, I like going to the cinema. I try and make sure that um, I balance myself, so I'm still enjoying life mm. um, and as well as my sport. Uh, so especially, it's easier to do that more, have more of a social life in the winter in the off season. So right. April to sept- ep- yeah, September time is golf season. So that's when I kind of travel more, play more competitions, 
Um, but I think it's important to get the right balance mm. as well. Mm. Yeah, you play for England, badminton. That's amazing to represent an entire country. I don't know what the what the yeah. level of competition is like for badminton, but to represent a country. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. I was. I went away on my own first time when I was thirteen years old. Mm. I went to Denmark to represent the team, and it was. It was kind of a, a wake up. It was really like you were on your own. You had to remember your passport. You had to remember all your clothes, packaging, everything. Um, my mum was really worried. Mm. <laughs> but I came back with my passport. I came back safe um, and I brought back two medals, which was good. Wow. So, yeah. That was your first competition? <laughs> um, I My parents have been very, very supportive throughout my sporting career. They funded me to go to Vancouver, went to Poland, mm -hmm. um, Germany um, and Holland. Um, and so that was independence, um, but then I went away with the England squad as a team. So that was really good. It was nice to be with a team. Yeah, you get to play. Team, you know, yeah, but it was nice also to go with my family and stuff. Yeah, I'm really close with that's them. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. that's super awesome. So how do you prep for the season? Because you said the new season's starting. Yeah. How do you get yourself geared up for that? Yeah, so um, obviously during the winter, I work really hard in the gym to try and get stronger, to get more yardage so I can hit the ball further. So before the season, maybe like a month before my first big competition, I'll go and get my yardages done. Uh, so which means I'll go and hit every club in like an indoor studio, see how far I carry every um, each of the golf balls, um, just so I know when I'm on the course, so I know all my distances. It's really important you know how far you carry each golf club so you can get near the pin. Uh, so yeah, and I just work really hard in the gym, practice, practice short game more. Now, when you get down to kind of five handicap and below, it's all about short game. So I do a, probably about 70% short game, 30% long game. Wow. So, yeah, That's all practice. I play, <laughs> short game, because I can't hit a driver to save my <laughs> Most life. Most people who don't play actually really like hitting the driver because they can whack it as far as they like. But you're... <laughs> <laughs> Slice city. Slice Lose city. golf balls. <laughs> yeah, all day. If I want to see, like, all of the course, then That's I'll go it. and play a full Okay, Okay, your money's 18. worth. <laughs> yeah. Pitch and putt all day. I'm all about the, uh, the short game. World champion. 2018 freestyle yes. you were beaten twice before at the worlds and then you won the euro championships in 2017 how did it feel to finally win the championship mm, yeah that's amazing feeling uh, um okay 2014 i lost it i i was fourth in the world and then 2016 second then this year I felt that I am getting stronger, that I prepared myself really well. I knew it who I will meet on the final. I didn't was even think that I will be top four or something. I knew it. I will be in the final. I knew it with who. Um, I did my sets. I prepared myself perfectly. I knew it what I will play, how will be finished. Yeah. And yeah, it's amazing. Like, oh, this is something beautiful. But this is the time now when I won it, the world final. Then I know that next year's I want to be all the time on the top. Yeah. And you need to practice double hard mm. and prepare yourself and do all the time improvement. Can't be like, okay, today I will don't play. I need to think all the time, okay, this is day I need to play. I need to improve. In next six months, I have competition. I need to be ready. I need to beat everyone. Yeah, because yeah, you're the king of the hill now. You're at the top or queen <laughs> of the hill there. to not be king sexist. Of crown. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 definitely. So everyone's coming for you now. Mm. Everyone's gunning for Agushka. Yeah, yeah. They want <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like 2016, I said, okay, I need to beat one girl because she was, she was like, I was always following her from the beginning. Right. And then 2016 is like, I need to beat her. And then I did it. And I was so happy of myself. So proud. And then this year was Melody because I lost with her 2016. Right. That's why this year was for her. And I have only one girl who I want to beat one more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the time, you know, you need to put challenges in the front of you. Yeah. Another way, you, I don't know, you will go. How long do competitions last? Uh, last means. How long? Like yeah, is they one-day like events or...? Oh, it depends, it depends. Mostly it's, it's two days. One day of qualification and second day of the finals and okay. semi-finals, yeah. And are they judge? how do they judge? Because obviously people are doing different things, aren't they? Okay, okay, then uh, let's start. At the beginning, we came to uh, come to the competition. In the world final, we have eight girls. Then we have uh, each battles. Uh, we had three battles in the qualification. Two girls on the stage. Uh, in the past, it was one ball, but now it's two ball. You can play by your ball. Mm, after this, you show every 30 seconds you change each three yeah. times, 30 seconds. Yeah. At the finish, judges point on who, who passed yeah. next one. 
Wow, it's really yes, cool. yes. And you need to show your creativity. You need to show uh, the hardest trick, uh, combination, uh, flow, everything possible. Yeah, mm. by this they judge it. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. You asked before we started a question that I have in my notes here, which is great. <laughs> How do you come up with the things that you do? Do you do you see? Is it kind of like watching someone dance and you're like, "Ooh, I like that move," and you steal the move or, or make it better? Or how steal do you come up? <laughs> no, it's about at the beginning to the, at four years. I was like, I wanted to be creative, but I never find it my creativity hmm. because I was following others. But from last two years, I am like really into myself. I, I am not following people. I am just watching, okay, this is nice, this is nice, but I try to create my style, my style, my stuff, my tricks. I have some combination, some transition, and I am so happy of it. Because when you go to competition and you show that you create something and you are original, then you pass automatically. Mm. Yeah, and this is perfect. That's why I know I am not stealing from no one. Right. <laughs> Maybe. <She's laughs> I don't an know. Innovator, <laughs> not an imitator. <laughs> I love it. So we're not talking about who your favorite golfer is. Yeah. Okay. We're not asking that. But <laughs> if you could go head to head with yeah. any golfer, male or female, yeah. who would you play against? That's a good question. Um ooh. I quite like to go against Justin Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, he hits the ball an absolute mile. Yeah, no, I quite like. I just, I like. I played um, a uni match at golf actually. We were in Durham, and I played against this guy, and he was a really good golfer, and he struck the ball like the best I've ever seen. Mm. So you know when you play with someone who's really good at what you do, and it's just like so mesmerized. Me I can't even say the word. Mesmerizing. Is that the Mesmerizing. Right word? <laughs> that's the word. Like to watch. And it's just like, wow. And that's kind of like inspires you. Yeah, to you, get want to to, like yeah you want you to be want like to be like you said like with the two guys you saw playing. Mm. It's like that's where I want to be. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, it's it's really nice playing against people who are better than you. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good motivation, isn't it? You can yeah. learn from them as well. Yes. Definitely can learn from them. So um so what part does social media play in your career? Because I know in the, like in the competition world, um, like your competitions are sponsored by Red Bull. Is that right? Like the free the style? World, the, wor the world, the world final. finals. Yeah, yeah, yes. So that's that's a big name, and there's a lot of power behind Red Bull. Yes. And like we were talking offline about being promoted by companies like Protein. I, I'm not going to say their name because they're not sponsoring my show. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> we're putting people yeah. from protein companies sending you protein, maybe apparel and things like that. Um, what part does social media play? And does it play a big part in what you do? Uh, yes, definitely. I am I am getting a lot of work from my social media. Mm. That's why I need to grow and improve. And when I had more followers on my Instagram, uh, a lot of more people was contacting me. But at this moment, it's still good because they see that I am growing. But yeah, uh, Instagram is really important for me. What about you? Wh which yeah. platform is for you? Like, yeah, I use Instagram the most. I've got like I've just set up kind of like a golf account for my season because I think it's important now mm. like, at the level I am to to have a golf account. So I have like two accounts, one personal, one golf. Um, so yeah, no, it's I've had quite a few companies contact me, send me like free stuff and things to try, and then obviously promote and put them on their websites and stuff like healthy bars and obviously like protein stuff. And so yeah, no, it's been quite good. Mm -hmm. You just have to, um, you just have to like be careful, I think, of, of social media mm. yes, as well. Yeah. How so? Like you said, you gotta be careful um, not to like get hacked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Something right. like that. Yeah. Well, and you get you do get some weird, <laughs> weird people messaging you on, on Instagram. That's the only thing. Every really? single day. <laughs> so this is obviously a common thing for you both. Uh, for girls, yeah. Now I we're going in on girls it. Is the worst. Yeah. So you what's been like? You get a lot of strange messages, <laughs> or, or I don't know. It, it's not not right at all. What kind of weird messages, or what, what's like Just some of the weirdest? Now. Yeah, <laughs> this is my this is my topic now. This is our hot take. <laughs> so what is the weirdest stuff that someone sent to you via like social media? Oh, uh, at the beginning they want to date. <laughs> like even like even you don't know person they're like oh do you went here maybe we can go together and then they are starting go in strange conversation with you oh really like, so yeah, they're trying to pick you up everything. that's normal that's uh, it's not normal at all <laughs> <laughs> like it's a lot Welcome of to strange <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of strange different things but yeah this is the common one oh you are beautiful 
a girl. You're beautiful. Maybe we can. Yeah, hoping, if it's a guy, they're probably hoping that you teach them some tricks. Yeah, yeah, be better yeah, yeah. Than definitely. Yeah, but that's got to be normal, though. I mean, it's you're normal, you're both pretty all. women. No, it mm. is normal. It absolutely is. <laughs> and you're and you're talented, right? So you're both you both have a talent. So that's to and it's a sport talent, right? So as a guy, that's attractive. I gravitate towards that because you play. Um, uh, you play freestyle football or you play badminton or, or, or mm-hmm. golf, which would be more interesting to me. So guys gravitate towards that. And now you're public, semi-public. It's not like, you know, you're Serena Williams or, mm-hmm. you know, anybody like that, which is nothing I would not want ever well. anyway because that mm-hmm. comes with, oh, my goodness, so much pressure. But you're open. You're out there. So guys will f- approach you more and definitely – Say what up, you know? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so I am uh, here for you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's normal, and it's it's definitely part of of your universe mm. that people are going to obviously find you um, because we see you on on Instagram, we see you, um, you know, on in Red Bull, you know, on on Apple TV, and I shouldn't have said Apple TV. Now you got to send me a free Apple TV because I just said it three times. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> That's if I say if I say I'm uh, Mercedes Benz, can I have a free car? That's how I got that one. So anyway, um, it's it's like when you see a celebrity, you know. It's like when I lived in L.A. and I feel like I know you because I've seen you on TV for years. So you're looked at differently, you know. So I can approach you in a different way. But even though you have no clue who I am, you're like how you are with the guy like what is wrong with you you know why are you contacting me so i, I get what you're saying it's got to be really difficult it's got to be really difficult yes but mostly you prefer to get message like i am getting every day like oh you inspire me you are you know you are such a good motivation you are yeah, high level nice and messages every, yeah these <laughs> kind of things right <laughs> but when you are getting from another hand this kind of messages this is like <laughs> Yeah. Go <laughs> Don't speak to me. So you hear that, guys? Stop going in with the immediate hit on the chick move. You got to <laughs> talk to them about their sport, build a rapport, let them know you're not crazy, then you ask them out for coffee. Exactly. Come on. We're starting a new How to Be a Player podcast. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, social media for you. How how where where's the weirdness lies in that where, what has been like some of the weirdest stuff people have contacted you about because i see your social media so i know that you're you're on there quite a bit i don't i don't really i don't think i i probably do have have had weird messages but i just i'll block them just don't reply to them mm. yeah, like loads of guys the probably the most popular message i'd have is like oh i'd smash you at golf or we need to get a go- we need to play a round of golf i want yeah. to beat you at golf or can you teach me a golf lesson like they want lessons it's all about golf right they say yes. it right. um but then obviously like the ones that you say like oh they kind of like comment on your story or they send you messages obviously they're trying to like flirt with you or ask you out and you just got to just like don't be easy yeah. <laughs> but mostly they are starting can you teach me freestyle you are better than me Yes. And then they started talk. That's their in. Oh. So they're like, hey, teach me how to play golf. <laughs> they so need that, to approach at right. the beginning. <laughs> nine, nine holes uh, of just you and me. I've had That's some really bad golf chat up lines before. Really? Yeah. Fire away. Just, what do you got? Oh, now you're putting me on the spot. Yep, you brought it up. So I guess. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. It's a, it's, it, I'm not going to say them because they're really like, on, it's because it's on my air. But it's to do with like hole in ones and all that stuff. It's like, uh, and when you when you when people when you get people messaging you like a bit creepy and just weird, it just com- just completely puts you off because mm. it's just it's not right really. So yeah, just block them. I think a lot of times, and I'm as I, as you say that, I'm thinking this through. If I'm a guy and I'm at home and I'm watching you on LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever you are, yeah. and I've I've already worked myself up to talking to you. Yeah. And I've gone past football. I've gone past <laughs> golf. And I was like, okay, yeah, she's cute. So now I've gone past the the desire to have interest or whatever to express the interest. So now I'm way up here with what I'm going to say to you because I've gone up these levels. I do wish I could get inside a guy's head. Like, sometimes I just don't get where they're coming That's from. That's where it's coming mm-hmm. from. Oh, don't this understand is, them. This yeah. is it it's right It's so here. hard to read you guys. Yeah, and you're coming at it down here because you've not looked at me online and watched me play podcast or whatever it is (laughs) that the the person reaching out to you has done and you're reading my my message of 
what's up? You know? <laughs> and you're like, ugh, <laughs> you turn that off. Where I'm thinking, well, this is normal now. I've, I'm at that level where I can be like, what's up? You know, and then you find yeah. that weird. And I think that's where guys probably fail with, with <laughs> when it comes to reaching out to you guys. What type of stuff do you guys have coming up? I know we say we've got the new season coming up for you. Um, we've, we've got competitions underway. Um, what's next on your schedule? The oh, season. I am waiting for confirmation from Mexico for amazing project. Mm. Uh, recording in five different uh, cities, and they will uh, confirm in next four days. Yeah. Oh. And then if I get, I will go there. And after this, exactly when the project is finished, I have competition in Mexico, which one I really want to be there. So oh much. wow. Yes, and this is what is coming. And I am so excited. Do you have to pay for your own like travel and stuff um, like that, or do they? If if I am going for competition, like this is open competition, everyone can come. Okay. Then I need to pay. Yeah. But at this moment, when I will work with this uh, company and they will uh, confirm me, then I will ask them if they can book my ticket for the day when the competition are finished. Yes. And yeah. then they will pay, pay my for. travel and okay. everything. Yeah. And I will just be there for for me. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. That must be amazing because you're both athletes that you can travel to all these different places for sport. Yes. You must be seeing some amazing places, which is kind of why I asked you where's your favorite place to play golf earlier. How about yourself? What do you have coming up? Where yeah. can people come and see you play if you're even into inviting people out? You don't have to say <laughs> any of that if you don't want okay, to. Okay, so we stalk because I saw the first tee. I'll be like, <laughs> like hey, uh, I'm a weirdo632 on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Um, you liked one of my pictures. <laughs> um. Um, so, yeah, my season starts in, or- in April. Yeah. Um, playing up in uh, Troon in Scotland. Mm. I've got a few competitions locally, London, uh, Surrey area. Um, then I'm also playing again in St Andrews later on in the year. I'm hoping to play in the, um, I'm playing like the English Ams, English Amateur Championships. There's a couple each year all over the country. And I'm hoping to play in the European Amateur Championships as mm. well. And then my one of my goals for this season is to get into the Women's British Open. I got into pre-qualifying last year, but I um, injured my back. Yeah. Um, so I was out for that's, three months. So cool. I still played, even though I shouldn't have done, because I mm. hadn't practiced at all. Mm. Missed the cut by a few shots. Played oh. quite well, apart from one hole when I got stuck in the heather, which is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Apart from that, I, uh, yeah. So hopefully this year I get into the, the main event. That's my goal. And then 10 pro at the end of the year. Yeah, you're going pro this year. Yeah. You yeah. are done. So, so we got her before everybody else on our podcast. That's dope. <laughs> I really love that. I love it. Um, social media, where can people find you? Uh, Miss Anna Collis. Uh, my golf account is Miss Anna Collis Golf. That's on Instagram. No weirdos, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really, I use, I kind of like use Snapchat um, and. Like, I don't even really use Facebook much. Mm. Facebook's kind of like more for family. Don't even use Twitter. I mm. just can't stand Twitter for some reason. Mm. Yeah, Instagram's kind of like the only really social media I use like regularly. Yeah. 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 Then we are the same, by the way. Yes. I am not using Facebook. I am no, not I using just, Snapchat. I think just, just things like, if you have all of them, for example, it just takes up so much time. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's no yeah. point having them all. Yeah. Like, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I, I reckon, I said this to my friend the other day, I think there's going to be a new social media like ready to come out, which is going to just override all of them. That'd be brilliant. I can feel it, I can feel it coming. I've been waiting so long for Facebook to go away. <laughs> <laughs> it's for old people now, isn't oh it? Oh my yeah. God, it's a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> she said it. So where can people find you? <laughs> just go. Oh yeah, they, they just need to write Aguska, A-G-U-S-K-A. Anywhere, and, and they can find up. me easy. You're that famous. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, but I think uh, Aguska is not common. That maybe? unique. Like yeah. Anna? Yeah, yeah definitely. Just You're so modest. Right, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Very unique. Well, I want to thank you both for coming out to see with me today. I uh, appreciate you both. Um, good luck to you in your turning pro this season because it's going to happen. <laughs> and retaining your title. Cool. When's Red Bull this, this year? I, didn't, I meant uh, to ask you that. We'll be Miami. This year in November. Oh, wow. Always. So it's in the yes. end of the year. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, cool. Yes, yes. So um, good luck, like I said, this season. And okay. hopefully we'll catch up with you guys when you've got big trophies. Yeah. Get them some big trophies, you guys. And when you've got the blue tick on Instagram. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> We nice. don't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's fire. That's fire. So um, thanks for tuning in, you guys. We'll catch you guys next time when we do. And hopefully we can get uh, some freestyle football action from this young lady here. I am not going to be kicking the football around today. And that's just what's up. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>